हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल फोर्स ई लर्निंग जूनियर इंटरमीडिएट इंग्लिश क्लास वेरी एक्साइटेड टू बी हियर टू टीच यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक क्वेश्चन टैक्स सो लेट मी कंटिन्यू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक क्वेश्चन टैक्स Before I start the session, let me say a few words, dear students. Please keep them in your mind. Purity, patience, and perseverance are the three essentials to success. One should be very pure in one's thoughts. That is number one. Patience. One should have patience with which one can achieve anything. And the third one, the most important, is perseverance. Means continuous efforts. we cannot get anything overnight we shall have to struggle to get what we want so this is uh, the piece of advice i would like to give you keep them in mind and uh, what is a question tag i explained you yesterday okay question tag is a small form of uh, question written after the statement uh, to attract uh, the listener's confirmation when the statement is positive question tag is negative and when the statement is negative question tag is positive when there is a helping verb or auxiliary verb the same is taken in question tag that you know very well there are only two tenses which do not have any auxiliary verb they are simple present tense and simple past tense when the statement is in simple present tense we can take either do or does if the subject is i we you they we take do and if the subject is he she it we take does that is the slight change one is expected to keep in one's mind there many students commit mistakes okay and when there is a, a noun instead of the noun we have to take its corresponding pronoun okay india is a great country let me say we are not supposed to say isn't india isn't it what is used in question tag we should use pronoun okay and uh, i have just told you that uh, when the statement is in simple present tense we can take uh, do or does and when the statement is in simple past tense uh, we take did she explained the topic didn't she she wrote the exam didn't she he did not pay the fee did he they broke the window didn't they they spoke english didn't they they could not speak english could they they would not write the exam would they okay so when the helping verb is uh, a modal auxiliary shall or will we take uh, won't or shan't he will write the exam won't he she will play cricket won't she he cannot attend the classes can he and when there are semi negative words like seldom never rarely hardly nobody no one few little when these semi negative words present in a statement we have to take the negative meaning of the statement and eventually the question tag will be positive she seldom watches movies 
does she he seldom came to our house did he according to the verb you have to take anomalous finite means uh, the verb which indicates the tense uh, you will have to take that and write the question tag still there are some rules let us discuss them today my dear students uh, please remember positive statement positive statement positive question tag this rarely happens when the speaker wants to show his or her reaction to something which has been told by somebody let me repeat once again the speaker wants to show his or her reaction to something which has been told by somebody and that is out of interest that may be out of anger that may be out of desire and that may be out of surprise also suppose a son tells father dad i have got top rank and uh, the expression of the father here oh it's an expression which indicates the sudden surprise you have got you have got top rank you have got top rank uh, here the question tag is uh, have you this is an exception generally in the examination this kind of sentence has not been asked so far but the students are expected to know this also and remember one more my dear students when the helping verb is uh, have or has have has uh, had suppose let me say we can take these helping verbs in question tags suppose let me write one sentence here she has she has written the exam she has written the exam what is its question tag you know it very well because here has acts as a helping verb therefore we take has as helping verb and we can write uh, has and she okay they have completed the work they have completed the work they have completed the work what is its question tag uh, have and they she had uh, 
she had prepared well what is its question tag had in she this is very clear you can easily understand but when these three act as main verbs suppose let me write one sentence here she has many problems she has many problems what is its answer if you tell hasn't she that will be wrong expression because it is not followed by a main verb here it acts as the main verb and uh, what does it indicate it indicates uh, simple present tense therefore its question tag is doesn't she just you carefully observe dear students its a question tag is a doesn't she not hasn't she in the same way we have a class now suppose this is an expression how can you write its question tag you are not supposed to say haven't we then what is its answer its answer is it is in which tense simple present tense again therefore the answer is don't we dear students carefully observe in the same way they had many opportunities they had many opportunities it here it indicates which tense past tense it is not followed by any main verb it acts as the main verb and the tense of the verb is in simple past tense therefore its question tag should be negative so the answer is uh, didn't they just carefully observe my dear students how has had when they act as uh, auxiliary verbs okay we take them in question tag and when they are the main verbs in the given statements we shall have to take the verb form into consideration and accordingly we should write the question tag okay dear students just you carefully observe just have a glance next if the statement is an imperative sentence the statement uh, imperative sentence okay if the statement is an imperative sentence in question tag what uh, shall we take uh, 
will you can you okay will you can you could you or would you generally we take this when the statement is an imperative sentence here stop talking let me write will you help me please can you any of these you can take generally you please remember in imperative sentences the implied subject is always a second person okay get out will you stand up will you remember only one with which it will settle in your brain stop talking will you okay come here will you come here don't consider that the verb is in simple present tense and accordingly if you say don't you that will be a wrong expression and the subject is always you please remember pronoun but that is not spoken you will have to take that in question then stand up will you sit down will you get out will you come here will you stay there will you do the work will you and for say, negative imperative statement also negative imperative statement negative imperative statement that is a sentence what is used for negative imperative statement question tag is will you okay don't talk will you don't make a noise will you don't talk when expression is don't talk do you if you write that will be wrong stop talking will you don't talk will you you see the similarity for imperative and negative imperative will you is used please remember don't make a noise don't talk okay don't do that work will you don't eat it will you these are all the ex exceptions when am is aren't is an exception i am invited to the party aren't i i am not invited to the party am i stop talking will you don't talk will you if you learn this kind of rules the remaining rules are very simple whatever rules which are difficult we have to learn them we have to keep them in our brain the subject becomes very simple okay dear student in fact this is an easy topic and when the statement begins with let's when the statement begins with let's please remember 
Plex means you know very well letters. What is its question tag? Shall we? Shall we is used in question tag. For example, let us uh, let's write the exam. Let's write the exam. Shall we? Let's play cricket. Uh, shall we? Let's do work. Shall we? Let's enjoy the party. Shall we? Let's prepare seriously. Shall we? Okay. You expect uh, what we call uh, the reaction from the listener also let's uh, do the work shall we okay let's uh, complete the work shall we let's shall we let's shall we let's shall we imperatives and negative imperatives will you imperatives and negative imperatives will you imperatives and negative imperatives will you stop talking will you let's enjoy shall we like this we have to make uh, sentences okay dear students and uh, remember when the statement begins with someone somebody no one nobody everyone everybody someone somebody no one nobody everyone everybody when the statement begins with these words any of these words they is taken in question tag they is taken in qt okay suppose let me write one example everyone appreciated her everyone appreciated her appreciated is the verb in simple past tense the sentence or the statement begins with everyone therefore you will have to take uh, the question tag uh, didn't they everyone appreciated her didn't they so in the same way nobody came to party nobody came to party nobody indicates negative sense therefore the tag will be positive so what is the answer did they okay so like that we have to take uh, someone somebody no one nobody everyone everybody so when it is uh, every thing nothing 
when it is everything nothing and uh, something everything nothing something any of these words present in the statement then we take it in question tag it is used in question tag for example everything depends on hard work for example so what is its question tag doesn't it everything depends on hard work the question tag is doesn't it suppose let me write one sentence here nothing is impossible nothing is impossible then what is its question tag nothing gives negative sense again therefore positive question tag and we have to take is it okay dear students uh, and you have one more rule that is uh, when the statement begins with there and one there and one same is used in same is used in qt how for example there was a problem let me write here there was a problem so the answer is uh, wasn't there okay and uh, one must love one's parents one must love one's parents what is its answer the auxiliary verb is must therefore must and uh, one here you will have to take uh, one in question tag must and one so like this we can speak out many number of sentences dear students right just have a glance you can have clear idea about uh, question tags one should look after one's studies shouldn't one okay one is a pronoun indefinite pronoun please remember you should love your parents i should love my parents one should love one's parents in correction of sentences such kind of questions may be asked therefore you should be very careful okay there is an invitation isn't there suppose this is my problem we should not use this in question tag this is my problem isn't it 
दीज आर मई बुक्स वी शुड टे वी शुड से आर इंट दे You should remember such kind of rules with which it becomes very simple for you, dear students. Okay, so let me speak out many number of sentences. Just you listen to me. I love India, don't I? She writes the exam, doesn't she? He played cricket, didn't he? He never comes late. does he she seldom speaks english does she they never attended the program did they few students come to class do they a few students come to class don't they little amount was given was it a little amount was given wasn't it few gives negative sense positive question tag a few gives positive sense negative question tag little gives negative sense positive question tag a little gives positive sense negative question tag okay dear students positive statement positive question tag when the speaker wants to express his or her reaction to what they have just listened to dad i have submitted the report oh you have submitted the report have you i have completed the work haven't i other sentences i have many problems don't i she has written the exam hasn't she she has a car doesn't she he had a building didn't he okay he doesn't have a problem does he stop talking will you don't talk will you let's uh, celebrate shall we everyone appreciated her didn't they they are my friends aren't uh, they these are my books aren't they <coughs> this is my challenge isn't it one should take care shouldn't one one can learn english can't one okay dear students uh, like this uh, we can frame plenty of uh, sentences and uh, there will be an assignment on every grammar topic uh, you go through the assignment if you have any doubts you can bring to our notice they will be clarified but remember just uh, listening to the lecture is not sufficient you will have to work on it then you can come to know if you do the exercises then you will come to know to what extent you have understood there are some sentences in the textbook also i read out them just you pay attention dear students sandeep has attended all classes hasn't he okay we are lucky to be born in india or and we english is an interesting language isn't it he was very busy yesterday wasn't he i am very happy now or and i i can face challenges can't i ravi always thinks positively doesn't he he does not criticize others does he some people always depend on others don't they 
discipline must be maintained at any cost must in it let us walk on the pavement shall we don't blame others for everything will you one can do wonders with knowledge can't one nothing is permanent except change is it students are our better judges don't they so like that there are number of exercises my dear students if you go through the exercises you can even get perfection dear students with this the topic question tags is completed and rewrite as directed a big one in the examination okay what are the topics which come under rewrite as directed advice passive wise direct indirect speech degrees of comparison and question tags these four topics together in the examination there will be four marks and these are very important in functional grammar if you learn these topics it will be an added advantage to enhance your language skills okay dear students with this i wind off uh, this session and very soon we meet again to discuss one more grammar topic uh, till then bye